Right, today we will be working on basics facts 13. We'll start with A. So we're looking for our product. We have two factors and we get that's how we get our product. We multiply the factors, we get our product. So we looked how many rows are in our area model. So we have one, two, three rows. So our factor is three. Right, so how many are in each row? We have one, two, three, four. There is four in each row. So our first factor is three, there's three rows. And there's four in each row, that's our second factor. So we multiply three times four, that gives us a product of 12. We can go four, eight, 12, or we can count by threes. Three, six, nine, 12. Now we write our number sentence. So we go three times four, equals 12. So we can go 3 times 4 equals 12. We could also, if we turn our array sideways, we can also say that there's four rows with three in each row. So we could also write that 4 times 3 equals 12. So if we change our factors, we're using the community property and our product is going to stay the same. So if we switch our factors, our product stays the same. So let's go to B. Again, we look at our area model or our array. We look for how many rows we have first. So we have one, two, three rows. And then how many are in each row? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six in each row. So we have three rows of six. And if we multiply three times six, our product is gonna be 18. We can count by six, six, 12, 18, or we can count by threes, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. All right, so we have three rows of six equals 18. And we can use the community property and switch our factors. We can have six rows with three in each row that gives a total of 18. So 6 times 3 equals 18. So that's our factor, factor, and our product. 6 is a factor of 18. 3 is a factor of 18. All right, so now we go to C. So we're going to find how many rows we have. We have 1, 2, 3 rows. So that's our first factor. How many are in each row? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven in each row. So if we have three rows of seven, that gives me a product of 21. We can count by seven. Seven, 14, 21. Or we can count by threes. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. So three rows of seven equals 21. So three times seven equals 21. I can also turn my array sideways, and now I have seven rows, and there's three in each row. So I could also write it as seven rows of three equals 21. So seven times three equals 21. And now you do work on the rest of this sheet on your own.